Hello there, welcome to Wireless Solutions. Today we are diving into the essential tips and tricks on how to fix Android phone not detecting SIM cards. This can be quite frustrating, especially if you are experiencing issues with calls, text, or mobile data. In this comprehensive guide, we will walk you through a series of steps to diagnose and hopefully fix this problem. By the way, my network is working well, and I just need to demonstrate the steps so that we can help you. This is for video purposes only. Anyway, let us get started. Section 1. Preliminary Check Before we dive into more technical solutions, let us start with some basic checks that might resolve the issue quickly. Number 1. Restart your phone A simple restart can often resolve many issues. To restart your Android phone, press and hold the power button until the power menu appears. Tap Restart, wait for your phone to reboot. After it restarts, check if the SIM card is now detected. This action clears temporary glitches and refreshes your phone's system. Number 2. Check the SIM card. Ensure that the SIM card is properly inserted. To do this, power off your phone, remove the SIM card tray using the ejector tool provided, and take out the SIM card. Examine it for any visible damage or dust. The card is dirty. Gently clean it with a soft, dry cloth. After cleaning, reinsert the SIM card into the tray, making sure it is properly aligned and seated. Number 3. Inspect the SIM card tray The SIM card tray should also be checked for damage or dirt. Any visible damage could prevent proper contact with the SIM card. If it is dirty, you can clean it gently with a dry, soft cloth. If the tray is damaged, it may need to be replaced. Number 4. Verify network settings Sometimes, network settings might be the cause of the issue. Go to Settings, then Wi-Fi, and make sure Airplane Mode is turned off. Also, navigate to Mobile Network Settings and check if the network settings are configured correctly. Ensure that Network Mode is set to the appropriate type, example, 4G or LTE. Section 2. Software Troubleshooting If the preliminary checks didn't resolve the issue, let us try some software troubleshooting steps. Number 1. Update your phone Software updates can fix bugs and improve device performance. Check for updates, go to Settings, then About Phone, and tap on System Update. Download and install any available updates. Once your phone is updated, check if the SIM card issue is resolved. Updates often include fixes for network-related problems. Number 2. Reset Network Settings Resetting network settings can help resolve issues related to connectivity. Navigate to Settings then Additional Settings, and select Backup and Restore. Choose Network Settings Reset. This will reset Wi-Fi, mobile data, and Bluetooth settings to their default states. After the reset, you will need to reconnect your Wi-Fi network and reconfigure Bluetooth devices. Number 3. Boot into Safe Mode Safe Mode allows you to determine if a third-party app is causing the problem. Enter Safe Mode, press and hold the power button, then tap and hold power off until you see the Reboot to Safe Mode prompt. Confirm and wait for your phone to restart in Safe Mode. While in Safe Mode, check if the SIM card is detected. If it is, an app you have installed is likely the issue. And install recent apps one by one to identify the problematic one. 4. Clear Cache Partition Clearing the cache partition can help resolve issues caused by corrupt temporary files. To do this, turn off your phone Press and hold the volume app and power buttons simultaneously until the logo appears. Navigate to Wipe Cache Partition using the volume buttons and confirm with the power button. After clearing the cache, reboot your phone and check the SIM card detection. Section 3. Hardware Troubleshooting If software troubleshooting doesn't resolve the issue, it may be a hardware problem. Here are a few things to check. Number 1. Inspect for physical damage Check your phone for any signs of physical damage. Look for cracks or other signs of damage around the SIM card slot. If your phone has been dropped or exposed to moisture, it might affect the SIM card slot for internal components. Number 2. Try a different SIM card. If you have access to another SIM card, insert it into your phone to see if it is detected. If the new SIM card works, the issue may be with your original SIM card. If both SIM cards fail, the problem might be with the phone itself. Number 3. Check the SIM card slot. Carefully inspect the SIM card slot for any bent or broken pins. You can use a magnifying glass for a closer look. If you notice any damage, you might need professional repair. Additionally, check if the slot is properly aligned and free of debris. Number 4. Clean the SIM card slot. 
dust or debris in the SIM card slot can cause detection issues. Use a can of compressed air to gently blow out any dust from the slot. Be cautious to avoid causing any damage to internal components. If you don't have compressed air, a soft brush or a clean, dry cloth can also be used. 5. Check for overheating Overheating can sometimes affect hardware performance, including the SIM card slot. Ensure your phone isn't overheating by checking if it feels excessively warm. If it is, allow it to cool down and then check if the SIM card is detected. Section 4. Advanced Solutions If none of the above steps work, you might need to explore some advanced solutions. Number 1. Factory Reset Factory reset should be considered only as a last resort. This will erase all data on your phone. To ensure you back up important information first, to perform a factory reset, go to Settings, then About Phone, and tap on Factory Reset. Use Erase All Data and follow the on-screen instructions. After the reset, check if the SIM card is detected. Factory Reset can resolve persistent software issues that other troubleshooting steps may not fix. Number 2. Contact Customer Support If your phone is still under warranty or if you are uncomfortable with performing advanced troubleshooting, it is best to contact phone's customer support or visit an authorized service center. They can diagnose and fix the issue and, if necessary, replace any faulty hardware. Number 3. Check for known issues Occasionally, there might be known issues or bugs related to specific MIUI versions or phone hardware. Check online forums, Xiaomi community pages, or tech news sites for any updates for common fixes related to your problem. Sometimes, other users may have found solutions or workarounds that can help. 4. Consider a professional repair If you have tried all the troubleshooting steps and your SIM card still isn't detected, it might be worth considering a professional repair service. A technician can perform a more thorough diagnostic and repair any hardware issues that might be affecting your SIM card detection. Section 5. Preventive Measures To avoid future issues with your SIM card, here are a few preventive measures to consider. 1. Handle your phone with care. Avoid dropping or exposing your phone to liquids. Use a protected case and screen protector to safeguard your device from accidental damage. Proper handling can prevent physical damage to the SIM card slot and internal components. Number 2. Keep software updated. Regularly check for and install software updates to ensure your phone remains up to date with the latest fixes and improvements. Updates often include important security patches and bug fixes that can enhance device performance and stability. Number 3. Back up your data. Regularly back up your data to avoid losing important information. In case you need to perform a factory reset or if your phone encounters other issues, you can use cloud storage services or transfer your data to a computer or external drive. And that's a wrap on our tutorial for fixing the SIM card detection issue on your Android phone. We hope these steps have helped you resolve the problem. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there is another topic you'd like us to cover. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all our latest content. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.